In this tutorial, we will continue developing this application by creating a well-designed card component with a gradient circle and an image on top of it. In the development process, we will learn how to overlay any content containers on top of each other. Besides that, we will discover how we can create a useful color extension to keep our code neat and easy to read. Alright. Without further ado, let's open Xcode and start coding. First of all, open the content view file, then please, copy the image view with its modifiers onto the clipboard as I do. After that, we need to select the hike project on the navigator pane and create a new Swift UI file. Now, we will give it the card view name in the pop-up window. Then we will save it in the project folder. Next. We need to replace the placeholder text view with the code from the clipboard, as I show you. Great job so far. We're going to embed this image into a new ZStack container. Please press the command key and click on the view so a new context menu can appear where you can select this action for your convenience. Now we can place a new circle view under this image, so let's do it. Enter the following code, circle. Then add this modifier to this circle view. Fill. Indigo. This short code will add a new color to the circle, which is better than the black color, yet we still need to modify this code. Please replace the fill color with this gradient background. Fill. Linear gradient. Colors. Color. Color, indigo, medium. Comma. Color. Color, salmon, light. Start point. Top leading. End point. Bottom trailing. As you can see in the preview, this code will generate a beautiful color gradient for the circle behind the image using our custom color assets. How cool is that? Now I want to reformat this code and make it easy to read for you. Since this circle view fills out the whole screen no matter what, therefore we need to resize it. Go ahead to the end of the fill modifier and add a new modifier after it. Frame. Width. 256. Height. 256. All right. Before we continue the development, we will do some file organization work. Go ahead to the project navigator pane, and let's create a new group folder from the selection of the card view file, as I show you. To do that, just click on the Swift UI file and choose the appropriate option from the context menu. After that, give this folder the following name, component. From now on, we will store any reusable or standalone components in this folder. With that said, let's continue with creating a new Swift UI file. Please name this file custom background view and save it into this component group. Now, let's create a new card background with an illusion of a 3D surface. Don't worry, the process is pretty straightforward. We will start by replacing the placeholder text view with the following code. Linear gradient. Colors. Color. Color, green, light. Comma. Color. Color, green, medium. After that. Start point. Top. End point. Bottom. Now I want to reformat this code and make it easy to read for you. And finally, add this modifier to this view. Corner radius. 40. As you can see on the live preview window, this code creates a nice linear gradient that fills the whole screen. To make more glanceable the rounded corners, we can add some paddings to this view in the preview. So let's do it. Add this code to the preview. Padding. See, that's what I was talking about. Excellent job so far. Now we will finish up the layout design of the card's background. 
First, go ahead and embed the linear gradient into a new ZStack container, as I show you. ZStack. Great. After that, we will predefine the main layout items with some markup comments in the code. Enter the following code before the linear gradient. Mark. Cologne. Dash. Number 3. Depth. Mark. Cologne. Dash. Number 2. Light. Mark. Cologne. Dash. Number 1. Surface. With this code, we can better understand how the views lay out in order. The layout is lined up from bottom to top. Now if we turn on the minimap in the code editor, these sections will be more reachable for us. Alright. Please, go ahead and enter this code at the top inside the Z stack. Color. Color, green, dark. Corner radius. 40. Offset. Y, 12. This code will generate the illusion of depth for the card background. And to make it even better, we can light up the edge of this card with the following code. Color. Color, green, light. Corner radius. 40. Offset. Y, 3. Opacity. 0.85. Did you notice the difference in the preview? It's much better, in my opinion. With all this code, this custom background is done. Now, before inserting this view into the card view, we should pause for a second think about how to optimize this code further. As you can notice in this code, we added many custom colors from the assets catalog to this background view. And you can imagine how hard it is to remember the name of each color set. Not to mention the fact that in case we misspell or skip any letter in the color name, then our code won't work at all since the code compiler will ignore it. Wouldn't it be nice if we could avoid this situation beforehand? The answer is obvious to this question. And that is exactly what we will do by creating a color extension that will not only help us avoid this bothering situation. Moreover, this new extension will give us a superpower as well. Color extension. To start off, please go ahead and let's create an empty group folder in the project navigator pane, as I show you. After that, give it the name, utility. Now, we need to create a new Swift file in this folder. Then, please name this new file color extension and save it. Super. In this file, first of all, we need to import the Swift UI framework, so let's do it. Import. Swift UI. With this code, we can now extend the feature of Swift UI's color by creating a new extension. Please, enter the following code. Extension. Color. And here, inside the curly braces, we will create some static constants representing each custom color set that we added in the first lecture to this project. Go ahead, and let's add the first color to this extension. Static. Let. Custom. Green. Light. Equals to. Color. Color. Green. Light. And. That's the formula to create a color extension with a predefined color set from the asset catalog. Now I will fast forward typing the other colors and pause the video for a while so that you can follow along with me. Please, add all the color sets to this extension as I did. Are you done? Splendid. We can move on. Now, it's time to let me show you how powerful it is to use a color extension in Swift UI. First of all, please go ahead and select the custom background view file in the project navigator pane. After that, replace the first hard-coded color value with this code. Color. Dot. Custom. Green. Dark. As you can see, I paused the video for a sec, so you can notice that Xcode will provide us with an autocomplete feature when we start typing a new color. From now on, we can forget to manually type any color name since all predefined color sets are quickly ready for us. Now, let's continue replacing the remaining colors in this file. Insert the following color. 
color. Dot. Custom, green, light. After that, we will replace the colors in the arrays of the linear gradient with a more simplified version. Dot. Custom, green, light. And finally, replace the last color with this code. Dot. Custom, green, medium. And guess what? By using the Swift UI color extension, our code became more simplified, more elegant, and less error prone. How cool is that? Final touches. Now, since all work is nearly done, let's finish up this tutorial by inserting this background view into the card component, shall we? First, go ahead and select the card view file. After that, we need to embed the ZStack into another ZStack container. So let's do it. Now, all we need to do is to insert the custom background view beneath the image. Enter this code. Custom background view. It's almost perfect. Since this card should not fill out the entire screen, therefore we need to constrain its width and height somehow. To make this happen, all we need to do is add a new frame modifier with some specific values, so let's do that. Please, go ahead to the end of the card view and add this modifier to it. Card. Frame. Width. 320. Height. 570. And. We have just finished developing the base layout of the card component. The very last thing that we must do before we call it a day is to insert this card component into the main view. Please go ahead and select the content view file as I do. Here, in this file, we need to replace the image with the following code. Enter. Card view. After that, let's see how this component works in the simulator or on a real device. Let's build and run the hike app. After the launch, we should see a carefully designed card. Moreover, this card has a walking boy and a circle with a beautiful linear gradient in the background. Excellent work so far. We not only created a new card component, but during its development, we also learned how to extend the functionality of the Swift UI color. Congratulations. It's only the beginning, and we won't stop here. In the following tutorial, we will create the header design for this card and learn how to develop a custom Swift UI button. Until then, happy coding!